Hello everybody and welcome to the multiplayer server on once again the Sosnovka map. I've had to put it back because it would sort of break up our series if I just stopped it there and I didn't really want to do a multiplayer series on Goldcrest Valley because we're already doing it on single player. So, just uh, <laughs> I've just joined the server and I had to restart it because it had once again crashed on Goldcrest Valley. Um, but yeah, people are slowly rejoining. I've had to drop it to 10 slots, just temporarily, just for this video. After the video, it'll be 16 again. Because, I don't know if it has a direct effect, but having 16 slots could make it crash earlier. I don't know why, but it just seems to. So, uh, we're just going to have to, for the sake of the video, do it with just 10 people. And yes, they're still joining. Ah, that's strange. Dagwin's just joined the server. How interesting. Well, very nice to meet you, Dagawin. Oh, no, I just kicked Dagawin. Whoops. No, seriously. Do not come on and mess up the server. I know exactly what that Dagawin would have done. They'd have joined, they'd have got the tractors and thrown them straight into the water. So, uh, yeah, there is no sympathy at all. There is no other reason why somebody would want to call themselves Dagawin. I mean... Just the name itself is enough to put you off. I mean, <laughs> no, what am I on about? What a load of rubbish. No, um, yeah, if, a word of warning, if you're going to join the server, please, even if you're not going to wreck the server, please don't come under the name of Dagwin, because it's just like an impersonator. So, Dagwin has been kicked. Right, so we've got Ryan, and this must be the final player, surely. Must have ten people by now. Synchronizing seems to have speeded up. I think. I said that at a bad time. As somebody who has got a slower sync rate has just joined. Ah, oh, we've got Heapstriser. Heapstriser is a new admin. New to the team. Right, okay. Uh, this doesn't need to be unloaded. We'll just get it to the end. I'm not going to faff about unloading there. Oh no, Ryan left. Actually, there seems to be an issue. A lot of people are leaving and then rejoining, so maybe it's failing for some strange reason. The server does seem to do some very strange things in FS17. Yeah, Brian is back. Must have lost connection somehow. So what we're going to do is just finish off this tiny bit here. We'll then unload. Oh, it seems to be doing it anyway. The potatoes. There we go. And then we'll take it over to either a storage point or a cell point. Oh, we lost it. Stevie P. There we go. Right, okay, Ryan has left again. Must be having some serious connection issues. Is that full? No, that's not everything. Have to wait for it to unload. Uh, I'm guessing it has stopped. It's just... Uh, there we go, that's better. There we go. Oh, and then it synchronises. Oh, the joy of the multiplayer server. I think what I might do is just save it because it could crash. Hopefully it won't do. But yeah. Yes. 48% full. So we're in the T7290. Very nice New Holland tractor. If we have any more of the potatoes in storage, we'll load it up and then sell it all. Um, yeah, just got to remember where they are in this map. Okay, so I have just asked the uh, very nice community here and I have been told that the potatoes cannot be stored without getting a placeable storage shed so we have to sell them straight away. Now, let's just have a quick search here and see where the best place is for them. Uh, that's on the up. 214, 
at the freight yard that's the opposite direction it would be so uh, let's just uh, spin around I have been blocked in I'll go left here and we will uh, make our way over to the freight yard we'll do a loop so as for the main job today I don't think there's going to be one. I think we're just going to do lots of little jobs. That always seems to be the best thing to do. Because if you're doing just, for example, combine harvesting for the entire video, it can get a bit boring. And uh, I know from editing these videos that if you're just doing the same thing, it can get boring. So, yeah, let's just do lots of little jobs. That always seems to be the best thing. Freight yard is down here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Good. And uh, I don't know if you can send the train off anymore. I don't know. If you can, we'll do it because we should get a bonus from it. Um, but yeah, we don't really need the money. The money is obviously 1.2 million. More, more than 1.2 million. Nice excuse to uh, drive an, a nice tractor. At least your pigs and cows are sorted out now, Dagger. Yes, that is true. It still stops the tractor when you type. So uh, this is always a good place to talk about my other channel as well because uh, I, I can't really keep uploading videos every day on that channel because it takes a long time to record them whereas when I'm doing a, a farming game like this it's very quick. Have I gone the wrong way? Or is it this one here? We shall see. Uh, yes, the Kubota restoration. I can't do, as, as I know a lot of people have said, please keep doing videos every day and every two days or something, even every week. I would love to. If it was up to me, I would do. It's just restoring is slow and, I mean, I could do a video every day, but it's going to be the same thing. Like if I have to cut a load of bolts off with a grinder, that's all the video is going to be, which would be pretty boring. Um, let me get this right. Let me just, uh, that work? No, okay. That sent the train off. But the train doesn't have any carriages or trucks or whatever. That seems really weird. Oh well, we'll tip it here. Maybe it's going to get its trucks. Who knows? I'll have to send it off another time. Anyway. That is another job completed. Uh, it, had, it was in the process of being harvested, that field, when the server crashed about a week ago. We didn't return to the server after that, to this map. So, yeah, that's a, a nice little finishing off bit there. Oh no, everyone is spamming heaps dryer on Steam. How it feels to be popular. Okay, next job. Head back, grab a machine of our choice, and see what we can do. We'll probably tab through them all, actually. That's the best way of seeing what jobs there are. It looks like, is it Stevie P is doing the harvest of these potatoes? Lots of fields have been planted as potatoes, and also some of sugar beet. Right, so that can go in there. That is fine. Now we'll turn the engine off. And let's. Oh, we're back in that tractor again. Let's. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Like, that just wouldn't happen if you were driving normally. Someone has clearly been going at speed. Uh, the only reason I'm a bit unsure about whether to reset that is because resetting can crash the server. So, yeah, I will do it before I leave, but. Let's just see what else there is. Ah, here we go. Now, before, last week, my attempt at stacking this was very, very bad. It looked terrible. So, oh, great demand. Great demand for barley. I'll try and see if I can get this one on. It looks like someone might have given up, so maybe it's stuck onto the forks. That does happen if you don't put it on properly. But whoever was doing these three has done a decent job just shows you how many you can actually get on one trailer. Yeah, I, I have a suspicion it is stuck. Yeah, it is. It's 
definitely stuck. Let's try again. I have tried to break it free. I think it has broken free. So this time, there we go. Much better. So those two can actually be strapped, or those four can actually be strapped on. Those two there, and these two here. That's looking quite good. Only thing is, the trailer, it well, the dolly seems to have gone underneath itself. So we'll have to sort that out. Let's just move the position of it. Actually, sometimes I have found it easier to put this on the opposite side of the road. Got more space. There's the train! That must be the one we sent off. It's on its way back again. Or is it? Where is that? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it's on its way back. So if you put this here, you've got more space to load. I think that's much better. Uh, we will leave that there. There has been some spilt food here. The next pallet has spawned, and yeah, it's a bit dirty. But we're not going to do any more work on the animals because we've done way too much recently, so that will be someone else's job. They've got water, they've got feed, they're fine. Okay, one thing I have been wanting to do for so long has been muck spreading. So this seems to be a great place to do the muck spreading. I was kind of expecting this trailer to be empty. It's not a muck spreader, it's just I was going to move some muck with it. I'm going to have to tip it into the pit. Put it here. And yeah, I should think a, a group of players will join and get all this leveled off and then clamped and everything. And yeah, it didn't fit it all in there, so we're going to have to put a bit more over here. I should finish it. Nope, okay. There we go. Much, much better. Right, so I have to close it up again. We'll head over to the main yard and hopefully there is going to be enough manure to be able to do at least one load of muck spreading. I don't know if we're actually going to need this trailer, but I'll take it over there anyway. Sunflowers, great demand. Yeah, no muck spreaders here. We might have to buy one. Oh yeah, the uh, the time can go to real time temporarily. Yeah, I don't know if we do have a muck spreader. I'd love to use the Matty Ferguson, which is upside down. Out of all the tractors that could have been upside down, it just had to be the Matty Ferguson, didn't it? I suppose it makes me uh, break from tradition. We'll use a different tractor. The fence are brilliant as well. In fact, most tractors in this game are brilliant. They are good. I Ivar, I think it was. Ivar? Dagwin, can you say hi? Yes, we can say hi. Hello. Hello to you, Ivar. Or Ivar. Yes, Ivar. So, yeah. Muck spreader. Let's just go around the corner where all the muck is and we will find out if there actually is one. I'd be surprised if there isn't one. It's just around here though. Oh, there is. Good. One of them has something in, the other doesn't. Don't know where all the muck has actually gone to. I suppose it's all been spread. Yeah, we don't need that. I can stay there. Okay. So the best thing for us to do is to attach to the muck spreader with something in. There we go. Funny, Heaps Riser seems to be in some ways much more popular than I am. I'm not being spammed with questions, which is in a way nice, although, yeah. Um, I don't get any questions really over Steam. I suppose it's because I uh, don't accept many people on Steam. There is a reason for that though. 
it's because if I do, it will totally fill my friends list and at the end of the day, I don't know anyone personally on there. So, oh no. So uh, yes, if I, if I did want to add someone who I personally know, then there wouldn't be space. I would love to have you all on there, but there is a limit and it would be very chaotic for me to be able to find the people I actually know when I come to chat to them. So yeah, if you've got any questions, just do it over YouTube, that is the best place to do it. I know I don't answer most of them because it's just so hard to reply to them all. That is why recently I have been doing a load of comment reads out, read, reads out? I've been doing a lot of comment readouts in the single player videos uh, and that is a good, a good place for me to reply in depth. I find it a much better way of doing it. What is happening here? Why is the bucket like that? Whoa. Whoa, that is weird. I fear there may be a glitch here. It's things like this which will crash the server. It's like an invisible wall or something. I, I really don't know what is going on, but... Uh, let's just see. It just needs to break out of there. Come on, keep lifting. It really is stuck. I'm trying to just persuade it out. Oh, that's failed. Well, you know what? This isn't going to do our machine any good at all. Although it's great for inspecting the underside. We're going to have to just reset the bucket, which would have been the sensible thing in the first place. Really don't know what's going on there, though. I really don't know. That is really weird. Lots of realies. Okay, let's just get it reset, then. Um, finally, it might be an issue, although there isn't too many vehicles around here. I might as well reset the telehandler, too. Hate resetting, though, because it crashes the server. Not every time, just sometimes. Yeah, can't find... Oh, there we go. That's it. Good. Okay. Um, so, we need to go and get it then. That's the one. Makes it much easier. Yeah, you can probably get these things out of their stuck places eventually. But if you do have access to resetting, usually it is better. It's just, if it crashes the server, that's no good. And in fact, I probably should save it once again because the last thing I wanted to do now is crash. We will lose pretty much everything. There is an autosave in multiplayer. I've got it set to 15 minutes, but knowing our luck, it will probably crash it like 14 minutes since the last save, which isn't too bad. It's just, yeah, it's annoying. So I don't know if there is going to be another episode on Sosnovka. This could well be the final one. We will see. It all really depends on how much it's going to crash in the next week, the server. I hope my muck spreader doesn't get stolen. I was really looking forward to doing it. They can't really spread much, because we've got the loader. But there is something in it. So, potentially, they, whoever they are, could empty it. Rusty Pipes is here. Rusty Pipes. Right. Okay. Let's scoop. Yeah, I, I really don't think there is much here. Fail. Absolute fail. Yes, Stevie P. I am indeed going to do a Christmas special. Um, last year I recorded it on Christmas Eve itself. This year I don't think I'll be able to. It was just way too hectic. Although it is nice to be able to record it on Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, just a bit too busy. So, probably the 22nd or 23rd of December. But it'll be published to, for everyone to view on the 24th. Now, looking at this, we have uh, manure. Out of the cows, 16,001 litres. These are the cows, at least they look like cows, and well, there is nothing really left. So I don't know if there is like another spawning place for the manure, but yeah, we we don't seem to be getting what it's showing. I'm only 27% full here, and the pile is virtually empty, and it's still showing 16,001. 
So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure why it would be doing that. Maybe there is another area for it to appear. We should wait for rust tea pipes to finish loading us. Oh, rust tea pipes, you've got stuck too. Ho oh, ho ho, that is strange. Okay, I think we're going to do uh, a bit of a move on. We will move jobs because that hasn't worked. This server is so glitched. Um, yeah, 16,000 litres somewhere. I don't know where. It's uh, in disguise. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. So what we have to do is find a field which needs to be muck spread. I think these are done, judging by the colour of this soil, unless it's just a dark colour. Maybe. I'll spread a bit and see. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Does need to be done then. We'll do this field. Well, I say we'll do this field, but we'll do a tiny bit. Because I've never muck spread in FS17 before, I didn't realise it actually showed up the muck on the ground, which is obviously a very nice feature. And before, it used to change the texture colour darker, but now it seems to make it lighter. I'm sure it won't take very long to finish this off. It would have been nice if we had had a full load, because we would have been able to do the whole field here. But, yep, just seems that the cows aren't giving off enough today. Probably out of straw. Although, it is doing a lot more than I thought it would do. It's lasting a while. Big muck spreader though. When we can do this in single player, that's when it will work the best because we'll know exactly how much fertilizer we have, how much manure we have. Uh, so we'll be able to determine before we start the job whether or not we have enough. On the server, it's shown that we do have enough, but clearly we don't. All the glitches and that. Okay, that is done. We'll put it back over here. And yes, the bucket is again stuck. Maybe the bucket is the cause of the crashing. Maybe every time it crashes, it's this very shiny bucket. That is very shiny. Love the reflection though. That is that accurate? Oh no, it's not. Not quite, but still good. Right, next job is going to be resetting this dreaded thing. <laughs> Can't believe it. Uh, where is it anyway? Whereabouts are we on the map? In the middle of nowhere between field 34 and 35. Well, obviously before we reset it we'll save. Somewhere here. Please don't crash. Okay, so maybe this time we can, uh, there we go. It didn't crash the server. It's a miracle. Lots of things are being left here. I think excessive numbers of uh, equipment, that doesn't do it much good. So we'll have to get rid of any unused equipment at some point. But this is the 8727 with the uh, cramp kipper, or crampy kipper. Oh, the Bandit 750. So what we're going to do is a bit of carting for the silage harvest. It could be grass, it could be corn, uh, grass corn, yeah corn, we're doing corn then. Where is the forager? It looks like it's over there. So, 
we'll head over there in a second. And this trailer isn't that big, so we won't be alongside for too long. I've dropped the sound because I know before it was very loud and you couldn't really hear me over the uh, harvester. The forage harvester is excessively loud, I've, I've noticed. So you just got to be careful. Hang on. Yep, so we're second in the queue. We'll wait here. I'm sure it won't take too long to fill up Birchie. James is in the harvester. Challenger is casting over there. Here's Ivor. Joining the queue. Wow, that was very close. We almost had a trailer push. So, I don't know if the uh, Challenger here will get another load because, yeah, it says next. That one's still filling up. We'll have to see. Um, identical trailers with both very nice looking tractors. Somebody commented last time I uh, mentioned a Challenger karting, and apparently in the UK, in some areas, the Challengers are put onto the chaser bins. So, that makes sense. Can imagine those chaser bins when full are very heavy. Oh, hang on. We're being pushed. Oh, you want me to put my lights on? Sorry, I didn't realise he was talking to me. There we go. Yeah, it's like a Christmas tree. Very festive. Oh, we've got more. We have more lights. That does look very festive. Maybe we can even have a screenshot here. Can we? If the chat disappears, we'll be able to do a screenshot. Have to wait. Come on, disappear chat. There we go. Yes. Got two screenshots. Fantastic. Right, I wouldn't have thought we'd be too far away. It looks to be manning at the top. So I'm going to uh, head over there. And we'll bring back up the heads up display. Yep, looks pretty full. We won't get too close. Not as close as Ivar is to me. It does look good when you go alongside. Uh, it looks like it's about 80% full that trailer, so maybe it's actually when we go back down again. What is going on here? It's the vehicle lineup. If we lined up every single tractor we have in the server, it would probably be the width of this field. We have way too much equipment. Right, I can't believe it's going to be too much longer. That is a bigger trailer than this. So in fact, I think, isn't that a forage wagon for picking up grass? Oh no. No, I thought it was. Looks very similar. There we go. He's done. Our turn. Yes, I can imagine we are using quite a lot of the trailers which are in the map. I don't know how many we actually own, but... Yeah, we've got three working here. Yes, Ivar will get another load. That's for sure. Setting cruise control might be helpful. What speed is it doing? I'm set at 6, but yeah. We're a bit too. Uh, I think we're creeping away. I know. I'm just slow down a bit. into his area. I should stay more in cab view. Oh, someone's found their horn. Someone behind getting very impatient. Well, 
out to 42 percent so it looks like we have to go up and down four times in total I should fill it what is going on back there right ruckus oh wow <laughs> I wasn't expecting that we actually have a line of different players waiting to fill oh oh getting a bit ahead of myself there the pressure is on That's quite an interesting view. I mean, the Challenger directly behind the trailer, but just the view of the Challenger, that angle, don't usually see it. Right, so we're 72% full. We'll head back up again once more, and that should finish us off. And then we certainly won't be required here again today. One percent. Yeah, it might not fill us, but we'll stop it here anyway. No point going for like a, a one percent. Ninety-seven percent. Ninety-eight. Yeah, we we'll finish at ninety-eight. There is no point turning around for two percent. Okay, head up here. The tractor is in neutral, according to that. And your Birchy, I think, is levelling. Yes, good job. We'll put it into that pit if we can do. A lot of them need to be empty. Oh no, we could put it into Rusty Pipes pit. Might be easier. Right, that should do it. Let's him level it. Okay, so I think that is us done here. Just close it down again. Why isn't it closing? It's not closing! That's weird. Why isn't it closing? Hmm, there it goes. Okay, so looks like the car park has been restored as a car park again. Last time I came here, it was packed full of machinery. There is still a front loader there. But, yeah. Good to see things being put back. Okay, so, we'll just put this back over at this farm over here. I think it's the pig farm. And that will be it from me today. Ah, all the sheds are full. Not to worry, we'll just pop it on the end here. So, there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. There has been some glitches, there has been some fun times, and there has been some chaos. Which pretty much sums up every multiplayer video. But that's just the way it is. Okay, I'm losing my voice, we're going very high. Anyway, yes, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And I will return tomorrow with another single player video. Until then, thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.